Now, I mentioned before that many gods of old have been sealed beneath the Guyan Stone Forest. The Adepti have presently handed Leo over to mortals, and Havria's time was even further in the past. The Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler that she left behind should not return to Leo. To leave them here is to let them slumber. And it is also a homecoming. I ended an era with my own two hands. I have always wondered how I should remember that which I ended. History records, but history may be changed. This incident proved that. Time is a mighty force, and histories twist in its flow. I need to find a better way of recording history in order to engrave its truth. Stone carvings were one such ancient method, but unchanging stone, immovable earth, even one such as myself. Someday we may all disappear. Zhongli... Therefore, I thought of you, Traveler. You are one who crosses the Celestial Atlas, and who passes through countless worlds. If our history is engraved in your memory, it will one day accompany you into another world. As long as a traveler like you is able to record what happened, then a backup of sorts will exist for times and tides of Tevat. Uh, sounds like tough work. Now then, it is time that we consigned both the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler to the sea. As I said before, this is the place to which the remnants of many bygone gods are consigned. This includes Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who the Jade Chamber most recently returned to this ocean prison. Thousands of years ago, the Adepti and I fought against the turmoil that plagued every corner of this land. Guyan Stone Forest, where I sealed many gods with my spears. After so long, naught but folk tales remain. Oh, Sire, you and I were foes. But our ancient grudge is but a bygone memory now. <sighs> May that which Havria has left behind be yours to subsume. <sighs> and thus another spark of divinity departs from Liyue. My legacy shall now be left to those who come after to debate. <laughs>